Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Why would I even say that? This is my first YouTube video. Welcome to my channel. And I have my Thai tea. So, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about how I went from pre med into the cybersecurity industry, the cybersecurity world, being a cybersecurity professional. So I'll go into it and then give you guys some tips. One thing that people do in their videos that I always love is when they just give you a synopsis. And so the synopsis for this video is that I went through an apprenticeship and I love apprenticeships. I recommend apprenticeships to everybody. <laughs> this is a pro apprenticeship program. So I've always been pre-med and so being in medicine, going to medical school, possibly becoming a surgeon, it was always a part of me. I went through a huge mind shift uh, going from being pre-med into entering tech. And I'll just give you a little bit of my background. I went to college, I went to university studying uh, kinesiology, a lot of uh, neuroscience, a lot of physiology, a lot of biology, the sciences. <laughs> and so I think in the back of my mind, I always knew that there's other careers I probably should look into. I just, but once you go pre-med, you cannot go back. You cannot go back. You can't afford to go back because a lot of the times you've already spent so much. But after I graduated, I took a gap year. And so that's when all the pandemic stuff started happening. But I was working at the hospital peak pandemic, trying to take care of, you know, um, little kids that were just born in the NIC unit. And I was like, you know what? I still want to be a doctor. It just wasn't until the pandemic was about to wrap up. And I realized that maybe I don't have to be in medicine to be a good person. Uh, because some of my coworkers, I just, I just saw doctors and nurses and regular people taking care of patients, and that's when I realized that there is nothing special about medicine. In that, if you want to do it, do it, but it doesn't mean you're a bad person if you don't do it. So, that's when I realized that you could be a barista, you could be in tech, you could be an artist, and you can be just as useful to the world as a doctor. And it was a huge mind shift. And I started telling everybody, but they already knew that. <laughs> they already figured it out. I didn't figure it out. <laughs> so part two of this series is when I discovered apprenticeships. And I only did it through social media and just talking to other people, social audio, Twitter, um, hearing people talk about cybersecurity. I've never once thought about cybersecurity. I just wasn't interested. And so the more I dug a little bit deeper and I talked to people that are in the field and they kept referring other people. They're like, yeah, you should talk to so-and-so. They're like a director of something. And then each person I spoke to, it just sounded so interesting. And that's when I realized that I kind of want to spend my life going after things that make me curious. With curiosity, you never lose. And so you're always just having fun. You know, uh, hopefully the curiosities are something that's fruitful. It's not like a waste of your time. And okay, boba break. But the number one advice that I got from everybody was that perhaps it's not a good idea to go to bootcamp or get a master's or even do a PhD. I was ready for all of them. I've been ready my whole life for 12 more years of education because I was pre-med. Um, so I was ready for them to tell me, hey, do this program and then you'll be good. None of them told me that. They were like, you know what? You have experience that's valid apply to these positions and see what they say and i was like no 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 i'm not prepared i don't know what you're talking about um so i ended up start like applying and nobody paid attention to me no job got back to me really but something i did do and it paid off was that i was still contacting people messaging people on linkedin i made a linkedin only after learning about cybersecurity because i was so curious i was like where is this thing that everybody's talking about because back in college and university and all of that, I just always ignored LinkedIn. I was like, I don't, I don't want to be in business. So just the ignorance. And, you know, nobody stopped me and said, hey, Lahan, stop it. Um, so once I got on LinkedIn and I connected with other people and I started sending them my life story, basically. Over time, through all of this, I figured out that I need to do better messaging in that I need to ask them about them what they learned their company and yes people's answers have gotten much much better and people actually reply to you once you inquire about them um, and so that's the little tip I have for everybody on LinkedIn it's like ask people questions about themselves and they'll get back to you a lot better than if you were to tell them your life story they're too intimidated they're saying oh my god I'm too busy for that and they just never get back to you so through all of this I learned about an apprenticeship I applied I got it the rest is history, really. 
the beautiful thing about apprenticeships in case you don't know is that they teach you while you're also working in the field so getting experience and you're getting paid for that work and at first it feels surreal because you're thinking well i should be in school therefore it almost feels as though you should be paying them um but let's just let's just overlook that a little bit I was able to learn a ton it is very daunting it's very very daunting in the beginning and you feel stupid every day because you're like how did i not know this however because you're new to this field and you're learning every day you kind of just realize all these fears that you're having are irrational and that it's okay to feel out of depth uh, as though you're swimming by yourself in an ocean so over time i just got more excited and i decided you know what I'm gonna keep going you really can do it transitioning is doable it's just that sometimes you won't believe it until you do it and then you're like oh my god everybody can do it i did it you know so i just wanted to share just in case somebody's out there saying hey i don't know if this is possible the cyber security stuff sounds very interesting but i don't know anybody um well now you know me <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this please subscribe i'll be doing more videos in the comments please let me know how you got into cybersecurity what tips you have for people that are really intimidated by the field and they don't know how to navigate it and apprenticeships are only one way so i would love to hear how you got into it also please let me know what more videos you would like me to make it does not have to be about tech just any other video maybe career maybe how to set up your linkedin any other question that you do have please let me know and i'll make more videos about it